After Chicago, I went back to Jersey to visit my parents and took the trip down to Maryland to get my first ever five card PLO high session in, so let's get into it. First playable hand, I looked down at Ace Ace Queen 9 4 single suited in middle position. There's an early position open at 15. I call, and there are three other callers. We're going five ways to a flop. Flop comes King 3 2 Rainbow. The original Razor checks, I check, and Action checks through, so still five ways to a turn. The turn brings a Jack of Diamonds, now giving us two gut shots as well as the Nut Flush draw. The early position player bets 30. I call over to a late position player who makes it 100. Folds back to the original Razor who calls, and I call as well, so three ways to a river. River gives us the nuts with the five of diamonds. The early position player checks. Only one move for me to make being so short stacked. I put it all in the middle. The late position player thinks a bit but folds and the early position player folds as well. So unfortunately don't get any additional action but happy to take down a decent pot here in the early going. Early after the previous hand, I looked down at Ace, King, King, 9, 6, single suited in middle position. There's an early position limp. Next player makes it 20. I call and there are three other callers behind. So we're going five ways to a flop. Flop comes King 10 5 with two diamonds, checks to me, and while I don't know five card equities as well as I know four card, I definitely know that with a hand such as top set, if I am up against a big draw, which is definitely possible here on this wet of a flop, I'm going to be a much bigger favorite on the turn than I would be on the flop where I'm pretty much flipping and sometimes could even be an underdog with top set. So for those reasons, I check and action checks through. So still going five ways to a turn. Turn brings a five, checks to me. I bet 55, hoping to get value from a five, but unfortunately everyone folds. So we're gonna take it down here, but I'm curious for some of the more experienced five card players, my rationale on the flop, um, you know, I know that I am a little tighter than most, but is that something you guys do as well? I mean, do you play a little bit more defensively with a hand such as top set on a wet board, or do you just kind of stick it in and uh, hope and pray? Early after the previous hand and about an hour into the session, I looked down at Ace Ace Queen 9 5, single suited on the button. There's an early position limp. Next player makes it 20. I call and there are three callers behind. So we're going five ways to a flop. Flop comes King Jack 4 Rainbow, checks to me and I check as well. So still going five ways to a turn. The turn brings the two of clubs, checks to me and my aces might be the best hand here, but even if they're not, obviously now having the gutter as well as the enough flush draw, definitely enough equity to bet. So I bet 60 and there are two callers. So we're going three ways to a river. The river brings a seven of clubs, checks me again, and from talking to some of you that play a lot of five card, I know you said it's a very nutted game, so I don't know if I can really get full value here with enough flush, so I size down a little bit and bet 155, and the small blind makes the call. So I turn it over, knowing we're good, and happy to take down a nice pot here. All right, guys, just taking a second to let everyone know Josh and I are going to be in Texas next month at three different locations, starting with the Georgetown Poker Club February 16th, 17th, and 18th. That's on Poker Atlas, so let me know if you guys want to get on the list. The following weekend, we're going to be in Dallas at the Hideaway, and we're also going to be at the 101 Poker Richmond in Houston. So if you have any questions, comment down below or DM me on Instagram, and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Here, look down at Ace Jack 764 double suited on the button. There's an undergun open at 15, three callers, I call, and both the blinds call. So we're going seven ways to a flop. Flop comes King 8 4 with two diamonds. Early position player bets 20, two callers to me, and I call. So we're going four ways to a turn. Turn brings a nine, now giving us some additional equity. Early position player now bets 30. One caller to me, I call, and other player fold. So we're going three ways to a river. River brings a king, so no help to us. The early position player now checks. Late position pots it. I fold, and early position fold as well. So he's going to take it down. You look down at ace, ace, king, six, two, double suit in the cutoff. There's an early position limp. I make it 20. There are two callers over to the big blind who pushes all in for 90. One caller back to me. So while I don't love the connectivity of this hand, I definitely don't want to just flat call and allow the other players behind to kind of see a cheap flop. So I go ahead and pot it. The other player folds back over to the early position player who thinks a bit and makes the call. And he does have me covered. So we're going three ways to a flop. Welcome to King 9-7 with two diamonds. My opponent checks to me. And you know, honestly, if I didn't have the diamond draw here, I don't know what I would do if he had put me all in. You know, as obviously King 9 7, there's going to be a lot of Broadway type and like rundown type hands that this player is going to call with that really smash this flop. But, you know, having the diamond draw and being under one SPR, I just push everything in the middle and the opponent thinks a bit and makes the fold. So we end up winning the side pot and going heads up with the short stack to a run out. Turn brings a two, river brings a three. So I don't hit my flush, but I do make two pair. And I turn over my hand and the early position player turns over the nine seven of clubs for a flop two pair and muck the rest of his hand. So we're gonna take down a decent pot here. 
Here, look down at Ace King Jack 10 3 double suited middle position. We actually ended up going eight ways, $25 each to a flop of 10 9 3 rainbow. Check to a middle position player who pots it with only a little bit behind. Now, here with two pair and a gutter, definitely not good enough to go ahead with the hand, but obviously, if I had the complete wrap with the two pair, that would be a different story. So, I fold. Player to my left actually pots it over to a late position player who has about 400 total. He calls all in and over to the short stack who also calls all in. So they end up going three ways to a run out. The turn brings a five of clubs. The river brings the king of hearts. The player to my left turns over 10, 10, 5, 4, 3 for the flopped top set. The late position short stack turns over his. He has queen, jack, jack, 8, 2 for the flopped wrap and the rivered straight and the early position short stack mucks his hand. So the late position player is gonna take it down here. Here look down at nine, eight, five, four, two, single suit in the big blind. This is a six way limped pot to a flop of seven, six, three with two diamonds. I bet 15, player to my left makes it 40. There are two callers back over to me. So I took a little bit here to consider my options of either calling or raising. Um, you know, I do have the straight flush out, but chances are somebody does have a higher flush draw than myself. Um, you know, obviously eight, nine, 10 is a pretty possible hand for somebody, um, you know, set. So I decided to take the lower variance route and just call to evaluate a turn. So we're going four ways to a turn. Turn brings a five. I check player to my left bets 180. One player folds over to a late position player who has about 500 total. He makes the call as well. And here with the nuts, you know, obviously still with the open-ended straight flush draw, um, definitely don't want to give someone a cheap opportunity to see their flush or full house on the river. So I go ahead and pot it. The player to my left has me covered. He has about 1800 total. He ends up thinking for a little bit and eventually faults over to the late position player who makes the call. So we're going heads up to a river. River brings a queen, so it doesn't change anything. I turn over my hand and my opponent turns over queen jack 10, 9, 8. So we were both free rolling each other with myself having more outs to win. And looks like we're gonna chop it up here. I don't normally play on days that I travel, but I wanted to get in here just to get my feet wet on the five card action. So I ended up playing for about three hours total. What's up guys, Wayne back here with you. So today I was in for 300, out for 1500. So a profit of 1200. If you haven't already done so, check out the previous video. I'll link it up here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.